Hello friends today in this video we are going to see about Peperomia caprata rosso Before going into the video knowing how to grow this plant I would like to share what is the basic and important use of this plant Usually peperomias reduce around 47% of formaldehyde in indoors There is a small amount of formaldehyde present in all our homes but this level increases or gets higher when someone in our home smokes few products that contain high levels of formaldehyde include household products such as glues paints chalks pesticides cosmetics detergents furniture new flooring the fabrics all these have an higher level of formaldehyde so breathing this formaldehyde at low level can cause eyes nose and throat irritation and when it is taken in higher levels it can cause skin rashes shortens the breath and also you can have wheezing problems high levels of exposures even causes some types of cancer so this peperomia removes around 47% of this toxic from your houses Apart from this these plants have a great decorative value and they serve as an excellent desktop plant they are mainly used in terrariums also though the plant is grown as an ornamental foliage this plant is used both as a food item and as a medicinal herb it has antioxidant antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties so this helps in solving many health issues also now about the plant if you observe the leaf of the plant they look wrinkled green to the top and red to the bottom they have a thick fleshy leaf so these plants are also called as semi succulents as referred as semi succulents these peperomia require mostly the same care like your succulents they require a good draining soil and in your soil you can add up to 50% of perlite next about watering don't leave your plant to completely dry before watering when it is around 70 to 80% dry you can water your peperomias and don't overwater your plant Overwatering the plant may easily cause it to rot. While watering, water from the bottom because the watering on the leaves may cause the plant to rot. As these peperomias are compact plants, you can choose a small pot for these plants. These plants do good in smaller pots when compared to huge and deep pots which has many chances for the plants to rot. This plant doesn't like extreme temperatures neither the hot sun nor the cold temperature it should be maintained in a fair temperature next about the propagation of the plant you can either propagate the plant from its leaf or from stem cuttings from leaf you have to remove a leaf from the plant and just place it in cocoa feet It takes around 40 to 50 days to see new growths from the leaf. When propagating your peperomia from stems, gently remove the main plant from the pot and remove the stems from the main plant and then you can pot them separately using a well-draining soil. also see that you water the plant only the next day don't water it the same day when you have repotted it the leaves which are broken during this process you can use it for leaf propagation use liquid fertilizers to fertilize your plant so you can fertilize your plants during spring and in autumns which is the growing season for these plants 
and 15 days once you can fertilize these plants during the growing period thank you everyone for patiently watching our video if you have any queries please post it in the comment box and please do subscribe our channel for more updates on plants